GettingPositiveKarmaNow.com presents Bhagavad Gita for All Lectures by Nalan K. Narula Recorded in front of a live audience Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Bhagavad Gita chapter 6 we had completed text 23 last time and 20 to 23 is a continuous sequence and just for continuity we will refer back to this text and what Lord Krishna is telling Arjun and this is about Ashtang Yoga or Gyan Yoga that the stage of perfection is called Samadhi or trance when the mind is completely restrained from material activities through the practice of yoga. Now yoga means to link with the divine. So there are different ways of linking and here particularly you are talking about the uh, meditation aspect, meditational aspect, dhyan yoga and gyan yoga, and part of it is uh, has to do with what is today known as Patanjali's yoga system, which is actually coming from Krishna. And Krishna says this is uh, typically character- uh, characterized by the ability to see the self through a purified mind and to uh, remain happy and joyful in that contact and connection and there there is infinite happiness and joyous state and one enjoys through the transcendental senses so there are the material senses which are connected to your body your uh, organs of perception the outgoing energy that seeks the objects of the energy, the vishay. For example, the eye sees the form and gets attracted to that. The ears hear a sound, the sense of touch and so on, the sense of taste, smell. So all these things are going outwardly. So here when one is controlling the mind, and connecting to the inner self. Uh, Having connected to these transcendental joy, one doesn't deviate from this because he understands that this is the greatest of gains. And even in the middle of the greatest of difficulty, he is not shaken. And this is actually freedom from miseries arising from material contact. So miseries are coming because of material contact of our senses and then how the mind processes this information. If I have it, if I don't have it, then am I miserable, am I not miserable? Uh, What do I need to be miserable? And what do I need not to be miserable? So this is all happening because of contact with material nature. Earlier on also Lord Krishna has said this, that the problem is coming from the connection in terms of movement towards the external. So this is something that we need to keep in mind. And this is a yoga system that is practiced today, but perfection in in the physical aspect, in the Hatha Yoga system, devoid of this understanding that ultimate goal is Krishna or to become Krishna conscious or to connect this way is then just only exercise it is only some physical body building and it is not of much use then we have text 24 of chapter 6 sa nishchayena yoktavya yoga anirvinna chetasa Sankalpa Prabhavan Kaman Tyaktva Sarvan Asheshata 
मनसा इव इंद्रिय ग्रामम विनयम्य समंतता सो स निश्चयेन युक्तव्य दिस योगा सिस्टम निश्चयेन विद डिटरमिनेशन विद फर्मनेस योगतव्य मस्ट बी प्रैक्टिस्ड मस्ट बी डन एंड योग अनिर्विन्न चेतसा विदाउट डिविएशन ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिस संकल्प प्रभावान कामान त्यक्तवा सर्वान अशेषता मनसा एव इंद्रिया ग्रामाम विनियम्य समंतता सो so, संकल्प प्रभावान कामान नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट संकल्प मींस मेंटल इमेजरी और मटेरियल डिजायर because you know you have a material desire it forms a mental imagery of what you want or what you need to do or this is desirable so sankalp means this and prabhavan born of this kaman sense gratification idea tyaktva sarvan give up all ashesata completely manasa eva mind give up by the mind एव इंद्रिय ग्रामाम विनियम्य समंतता सो द माइंड हैज टू बी रेग्युलेटेड एंड कंट्रोल्ड सो विनियम्य मीन्स रेग्युलेटिंग समंतता मीन्स ऑल राउंड इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट द माइंड हैज टू बी कंट्रोल्ड ओनली देन कैन दिस सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन आइडिया बी गिवन अप कंप्लीटली सो इट इज सिग्निफिकेंट दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द माइंड and at the same time we are talking about sense gratification which is the body so the understanding is is here that you can't really control the body's impulses because that's the body that's the way it is going to go in a particular direction but by the mind you can control it so if you can have a controlled mind you can have a controlled sensory uh, activity in terms of your body you can regulate it so the idea is of regulating the body uh, impulses that are so called natural that are running towards the objects of the senses and how will you do that by connecting to the transcendental senses internally so this internal connect and this regulation comes only from the mind so elsewhere lord krishna has said that the mind can be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy and there are six senses the five bodily senses and then the mind so by controlling the mind just as a charioteer controls the horses the wild horses of the senses if you have control over the mind the charioteer then he can control the wild horses so the senses are wild horses they are going uh towards the objects of the senses which is natural and they have to be regulated in order to have a peaceful uh living and peaceful understanding and the better system is to go internally and connect with that inner flow of joy which as healers as reiki healers and kq healers you already have that inner connect so when you are able to do that and you follow your regulative practices then it becomes much easier to control your senses so that is what we are discussing here text 25 sane sane upramit buddhya dhriti grihitya atma sanstham mana kritva na kinchit api chintayet so shanay shanay means slowly step by step gradually upramit buddhya uh dhriti grihitaya with conviction and involving your intelligence upramit is shanay shanay upramit slowly step by step uh, atma sanstham मन कृत्वा न किंचित अपि चिंतयेत सो द माइंड शुड बी फिक्स्ड इन दिस सिचुएशन ऑफ ट्रांसेंडेंटल इंटेलिजेंस बाय फिक्सिंग ऑन द सेल्फ 
and thinking of nothing else meditating on nothing else so this is with intelligence so there are two factors one is the intelligence factor and one is the mind factor so the intelligence means knowledge that arises out of seeing things clearly and the mind is the active principle of your decision making but if it is guided by intelligence it is certainly much better therefore education is important so one must educate oneself now these are all very difficult things to achieve through the process of yoga and meditation in vrindavan uh, there was one god brother of uh, bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad uh, known as krishan das baba ji he was a el- very elderly gentleman and he was interviewed once and he was asked that you know you are at a age of 70 or something like that more than 70 do you still get sex desire so he smiled and he said one has to be like the ocean there are a lot of fishes floating around under the sea but the surface has to be calm so it is like that only so the desire will not go away perhaps it will still seek an outlet but with a controlled mind you can avoid the agitation so a lot of movement under the sea waters in the deep sea but it is not leading to any kind of external activity so gradually it will come to a standstill it may take a shorter time or a longer time not to be done artificially but when you do the healing process and also uh, there is another interesting thing as the body becomes older naturally these urges also start to decline so it becomes easier therefore it has been recommended that if you take a 100 years of a lifetime sanyas or renunciation should happen only after the age of 75 50 to 75 is vanaprast the stage of life where you practice going into retirement so your endeavoring is all finished by the time you are in your 40s or 50s i mean that's where you are now you do whatever is necessary to fulfill your obligations and you go into a retirement kind of stage you are in a withdrawal stage in preparation for renunciation of uh sensory object chasing the chasing sensory objects chasing mental things coming out of the false ego that you know i want to do this and i want to do that and depending on your stage of life you may be in a situation where you can achieve it and maybe you are in a situation where it becomes very much more difficult because of the stage of life you are in so what you can do at 20 25 you cannot do at 50 and you certainly can't do it at 75 so it is a natural progression so the whole system the whole uh, aging process is aimed towards bringing one closer to the understanding that one needs to actually focus internally and rather than externally the external aspect is taken care of in the first half of your life so shane shane uprame slowly step by step upramet means hesitant careful slowly hmm? by intelligence having the conviction connect to the intelligent aspect through this transcendental phase through this transcendental state of connection with the divine with the self and that should be the focus so this is the guidance okay then we have text 26 yata yata nischalati mana chanchalam asthiram tata tata niyamya etat atmani ev vasam nayet yata yata nischalati mana whatever wherever agitated state the mind is flickering chanchalam asthiram unsteady unbalanced tata tata then from there slowly niyamya 
this tata tata means in step by step process wise it's a process niyamya by following regulated principles to regulate the mind etat atmani ev vasham nayit gradually ha uh, tata tata slowly thereafter gradually niyamya by regulating the mind and the senses etat atmani ev vasham nayit this is how you bring the uh, uh, senses back under control and withdraw them and bring them back onto the control of the self so it is expected that the senses will run here and there again you bring them back they will run here and there again you will bring them back so the more you become steady uh, yata yata and tata tata wherever and whenever the senses go out step by step slowly you bring them back under control so it is very easy to understand this if you think of chanting a mantra so when you are focusing on the sound of a mantra for example you may be chanting the maha mantra hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari after you chant this you you will suddenly find that you are chanting mechanically and the mind is thinking of something else so you bring the mind back so the process of controlling the mind can start with chanting a universally beneficial maha mantra which is nothing to do with any kind of cultism or casteism or creedism it is a secular mantra chantable by all and if you chant that even in that you will find the mind is running away so one way is to this is a double benefit you chant this mantra for example and you focus on the sound you hear it so first you should say it loudly not shout it necessarily in a quiet place you chant this mantra and listen to the sound so focus your senses on the transcendental sound vibration of this mantra so this is very important exercise if you do this focusing on the sound of the maha mantra gradually you will find this whole thing replicated there so as your mind becomes more and more focused you will start to enjoy transcendental sense enjoyment why because you will be connecting to the spiritual world and you will be if your mind is running somewhere it will run into the spiritual world which is perfectly fine so the idea is to enjoy that internal transcendental bliss rather than have the senses go outwardly into the material zone which is a cause of misery the contact of the senses with the material is the cause of misery so text 27 prashant manasam hi enam yoginam sukham uttamam upat upayati shant rajasam brahma bhutam akalmasam prashant manasam he enam yoginam so when the mind is so fixed on the transcendental self the divine krishna manasam my mind then he certainly he he enam yoginam he is a yogi and sukham uttamam upatati upaiti sukham uttamam upaiti so he achieves the highest bliss and happiness shant rajasam pacified passion rajas means passion the mode of passion rajas tamas and what is the other one guna hmm yes correct so you at at attain to the shudh sattva you pacify the passion you are beyond ignorance if you are already into this then ignorance is no more there because you are educating yourself then you attain beyond sattva also there is shuddh sattva purified goodness mode of goodness which is the spiritual so shant rajasam brahma bhutam akalmasham akalmasham means free from any defect of sinful reaction so akalmasham means purified pure so shant rajasam brahma bhutam you are liberated you are in the brahma energy in the reiki energy the universal life force energy the kq force these are all the same 
so you have achieved that by aligning yourself with these energies and when you connect with those internal energies which are again transcendental and divine you are in a very very steady state and then you have to go very uh, in a very regulated manner and you have to do this slowly yata yata nischalati mana chanchalam asthiram tata tata niyam etat atmani ev vasam nayet so this is the previous shlok that how you bring this under control so you can actually practice this you can see this for yourself it happens when you are chanting uh, a mantra or you are meditating on a repetitive mantra it is creating this situation of the mind running here and there to other thoughts and then gradually come back to the transcendental or the spiritual so when the person in the in the text 27 we have that when a person whose mind is fixed on me krishna he attains the highest of happiness and uh, transcendental enjoyment and because he is now aligning and identifying with the universal life force the brahma energy he is liberated his mind is peaceful his passions are shant shant rajasam passions have become pacified and he is freed from all sinful reaction of the past so so he is brahma bhutam akalma sam so that is a definitive statement that he is liberated from material contamination then we have text 28 of chapter 6 yunjanevam sada atmanam yogi vigat kalmasa sukhena brahma sam parsham atyantam sukham ashnute so yunjan evam sada always being engaged in this yoga practice atmanam of the self connecting to the self yogi so the person who is so connected is a yogi vigatam vigata kalmasa he is free from all material contamination and all sinful reaction sukhena brahma samparsham atyantam sukham ashnute and that is the highest perfectional stage uh, of transcendental bliss of being in touch with the supreme consciousness uh, brahma samparsham supreme consciousness of the brahma energies the reiki energies the universal life force energies like that so text 29 sarvabhut sarvabhut stham atmanam sarvabhutani cha atmana cha atmani ikshate yog yukta atma sarvatra sam darshana sarvabhut stham that which is situated in all living entity sarvabhuta bhuta means living entity so that who is situated in all living entities atmanam the super soul the paramatma the paramatma means the one who is above the atma you have a soul and then this is the super soul or the paramatma aspect the atmanam sarvabhutani cha atmani ikshate so then situated in all beings this super soul sarvabhutani cha atmani ikshate yoga yukt atma one who is yoga yukt atma the soul who is linked to the paramatma can see that the paramatma is in every living entity sarvatra samdarshana and he sees this everywhere so two very interesting things here that you are seeing in all living entities the param atma a person who is so situated and indeed he is seeing them everywhere because for paramatma to be everywhere there has to be an atma 
otherwise how it is going to be paramatma so in every atom paramatma is there which is how lord narsingha dev appeared from the middle of a stone pillar and which is how your first symbol of the reiki level 2 create space where nothing existed before and where nothing is there the divine is manifesting so even in nothingness there is the divine so the divine is everywhere so a true yogi sarvabhuta stham atmana sarvabhutani cha atmani ikshate yog yukta atma sarvatra sam darshana so a true yogi sees me krishna in everything in every living entity and he sees me everywhere so that is a self realized person what does it mean that he sees that he is also acting accordingly one is theoretical knowledge and then by connecting to the transcendental self you get the actualization of that knowledge to touch the truth directly that is self realization so a self realized soul is that who is touched the truth directly through intelligence so that is very very powerful understanding and in fact a depiction of what happens when you are actually in that transcendental connect and how your inner state becomes so these are symptoms of your inner state text 30 yo mam pasyati sarvatra sarvam cha mai pasyati tasya aham na pranashyami सचा मेना प्रणश्यति नेक्स्ट थिंग फॉर वन हु सीज मी एवरीवेयर एंड सीज एवरीथिंग इन मी दैट एवरीथिंग ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम कृष्णा ही इज नेवर लॉस्ट टू मी एंड आई एम नेवर लॉस्ट टू हिम आई एम ऑलवेज देयर सो ऑन थर्सडे वी हैड अ डिस्कशन अबाउट हाउ समटाइम्स यू नो द डिवाइन इज ऑलवेज देयर टू होल्ड योर हैंड and you may choose not to see him you may turn your face away that is a different thing but he is there so when you are in that state when you see the divine in all living entities you see see the divine in everything then the divine is not lost he is not far he is right there and you are not lost to him so that is a very important statement that i am never lost to him and he is never lost to me he she whoever so this is a stage of liberation very much beyond self realization also text 31 sarva bhut sthitam ya maam bhajati ekatvam asthita sarvatha वर्तमान अभी स योगी मई वर्तते सर्वभूत स्थित यो माम भजति सो द योगी हु नोज दैट आई एम सिचुएटेड इन एवरी वन हार्ट य माम भजति एंड ई सर्व्स मी with devotional service in oneness a so situated sarvatha vartamana api sa yogi mai vartate so he who uh, serves me in devotional service in the mode of devotional service remains always with me so despite being situated in any circumstance vartamana being situated api in spite of being situated in any condition in any situation he knows that i am the super soul within all creatures and he worships me with devotional service he always remains with me under all circumstances whatever the circumstances is always there 
to help you to get through whatever you are going through. So that is a very, very important understanding. And one can meditate on this deeply because this is the key. Connecting with to the inner transcendental self through the grace of the initiation energies of Reiki, KQ force, Brahmin energies, these are Brahmin energies, Brahma energies. So this is very, very important. And then we have text 32, which is again giving a, you know, the last three texts more and more advanced understanding of this process of how it actually plays out. So in text 32, you have how it actually plays out, which is Atma Opamena Sarvatra Samam Pashyati Ya Arjuna Sukham Va Yadi Va Dukham Sa Yogi Parma Mata Atma Opamena Sarvatra Samam Pashyati When a person compares himself, when he examines himself, he is able to see that in comparison to himself, every living entity is the same. Because what that individual is internally is the same state for others. So we teach you when you do your healing that what is happening within you is exactly what is happening in others. So if you understand what is happening in your body, in your mind, in your life, you can easily understand the same thing is happening in other people's lives. So that's what this shloka is telling you. That by comparing his own self, he is realizing that if this is inside me, it is inside others also. But they may not be Seeing it, that is a different thing. But certainly it is of the same equality and quality that is within me, is within every being. So whether they are in sukham, vayadi va dukham, or unhappiness, distress or unhappiness, sa yogi parma mata, consider such a yogi the perfect, parama mata, this is perfection. So, to be able to see this in all living entities in comparison to yourself, because what is your uh, yardstick? As you are within, you will see people, others, outside you also similarly. If you are fearful, you will see others as fearful. If you are greedy, you will see others as greedy. So you have to have that internally, connect. So where you are connecting, that you are seeing the true quality of yourself, the transcendental self, the divine, the energy that is flowing within you, you see that in everyone else. And you act accordingly. Then that is the highest perfection is what of, of a yogi is what Krishna is saying to Arjuna. So the highest perfection of being a yogi is this. That as you, as a yogi connects with the super soul and the inner self and enjoys the transcendental bliss through the transcendental senses, he is also eventually coming to the understanding that he, whether a person, whether he himself is in a distressed condition or a happy condition and others are in distressed condition or a unhappy, happy, whatever condition they may be in, that their internal quality is still the same. So one who remains steady in that consciousness is looking at the true center which is unwavering and always constant within the changing body and the changing face of the Atma who also has the Paramatma within. So when such a yogi is connecting to the Paramatma. He is considered to be the highest transcendentalist, 
हाईएस्ट योगी है योगी परम मता आई कंसिडर कृष्णा कंसिडर्स हिम टू बी योगी ऑफ द हाईएस्ट लेवल सो अल्टीमेटली व्हाट इज द एम ऑफ ऑल दीज एक्सरसाइजेस द पतंजलि योगा सूत्रस दैट कम एंड एडवाइज अस हाउ टू डू द योगा द अष्टांग योगा सिस्टम अल्टीमेटली दिस इज द बॉटम लाइन यू गेट देयर इफ यू आर देयर you have achieved what is required to be achieved by the sankhya yoga system by the analytical study whether it be achieving it through a system of bodily purification but always there has to be the controlled mind which will then control the senses and that is the process in meditating we have given you a method by chanting on the maha mantra that you can actually observe how the mind scatters and skitters here and there like it's on ice going here and there and not allow you to focus on the transcendental sound so you should try that sometimes i would recommend it as a part of your daily practice in fact so we will conclude here today at text 32 chapter 6 and if there are any questions i will take the questions now Bhavani. Bhavani? Yes, certainly. Yes, Bhavani, go ahead. Go ahead and ask. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So I have a request. Hmm. Master, this lesson was so beautiful. I want to keep hearing the whole thing again and again. Please, I beg you to put it up on the side the entire entire class. Okay. Because I you want to keep on repeatedly listening. It's Yes. So far, I couldn't even write too much because it's so much in every line you were saying. I would say that I would miss so much in life if I could wow. hear this as many times as I could because there was something in every line today. I don't know what happened. Maybe okay. Maybe I was feeling so good. So yes, you had a good connect. Literal. Yeah. So I will put I, I will put this up today. today. Yeah. I will put this up. Uh, we have a seminar. We have a Reiki seminar. So maybe not today, but Sunday I will put it up. Yeah. I will sure. put this up on Sunday. Any time. Sure. Because every time had something. I don't think even you realized that you were talking. But there's every time something coming out, and flowing out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And what does it mean? You spend your whole life looking for know thyself. So know thyself is available in the sixth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Yes. In order to get there, you connect to your transcendental self and then up to the Paramatma, the source of the transcendental personal self. But that is the Paramatma. So, Ender has a question. Yes. He says, Sir, can you give examples of how to see Paramatma in others? How you see Paramatma in others, Krishna has made it very clear. You see it through intelligence. You're not going to see, okay, now, you know, where is Paramatma? No, not like that. You don't have special glasses to see. The glasses are of intelligence. You have to see that as is within me is also within others. That is how you see. So in order to see, we have we said earlier that whatever you see within yourself, you are going to see in the others. If you see some negative quality in yourself, you'll see it in others. If you are seeing something good in others, you, you are referring to something good internally. You have a reference value. So the way to see the transcendental in others is only if you can actually see the transcendental self in yourself. So that's the whole point of the yoga practice. Otherwise it's theory. Then it's theory only. So you have to be a practitioner. You have to be able to see the self within yourself. And only then can you see the transcendental self in others. Yeah. Sir, Anita Nigam has a question. Sure. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, sir, I, uh, you know, uh, what you were explaining, I, I have the same kind of question and uh, maybe it's a lack of practice or lack of yoga, meditation. Uh, but when people behave in certain ways, uh, without provocation, uh, uh, like you know, on uncertain ways and not ways which are very favorable, then um, you have to be balanced in sukh and dukh. You've not heard this slok. Krishna says in the 32nd slok that Atma apamyena sarvatra samam pashyati ya Arjuna sukham va yadi va dukham sa yogi parmapata. What somebody does, positive, negative, has nothing to do with what he is internally. Krishna is saying that when you compare, when you have a reference sample within yourself of the transcendental which you have touched and you are connected to and you are in that connected state, you will see that in others also this reference sample is there. Regardless of Sukh or Dukh, it's very clear. What can be more clear than that? We are not saying that Sukh and Dukh don't exist. Yeah, that will exist. People will do good things, people will do bad things. That is there. So whether it's Sukh or Dukh for them or they're causing you Sukh or Dukh, you will see that there is the transcendental within the other also. The interesting thing is that here, here, is, a, here is a practical hint. The moment you actually connect with your inner self, the transcendental self, and you expand that outwardly, to see, to actually see or to be aware of, yes, there is a transcendental higher self within the other. The other person's mood, attitude, everything changes. Try this. You may have noticed this sometimes, that when you are flowing with the healing energy, with the heart energy and you are connecting, the other person suddenly turns. Uh, he is not aggressive. He is not so troublesome to you. In fact, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once took a walk through the Jharkhand forest and uh, he was people who used to hesitate to go there because there were wild animals like tigers and leopards and things like that and he went there chanting Hare Krishna and it is reported that the animals started dancing huh. so uh, I don't expect you to go and make you know animals dance but I am saying that this indicates this is an indicator of how you are connecting with the universe so everything becomes favorable to you no matter what the situation. There was a condition of uh, one of his disciples, uh, Chota Haridas, who was whipped in 22 marketplaces by the Muslim ruler king for chanting Hare Krishna and then he was thrown into the river each time and he would climb out the other end. He was thrown in the river for dead. They would whip him till he was dead and throw him in the river and they would climb out and then he was whipped in marketplaces, killed, thrown into the river, he came back to life. So, yeah, so these are things that are, you know, indicative of 
what happens to people they it's not that your problems are going to go away he was whipped come on so problems are not going away how you deal with them is important that's the key by inner balance and seeing that the divine is in the other and this person is doing something which i have to deal with that's all that there is okay Right, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. most welcome. I'll, I'll meditate on this and like, yeah. you know, we'll practice and I sure. definitely feel that when I do my healing. Yes. Uh, but it comes and goes. I guess it practice and get better. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Most welcome. So, Bhavani Tiyagi and Sam Kautam have a question. Bhavani, you may go first. Quickly. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, it's Sam. This is Ragini, not Bhavani. Okay, yeah, Ragini. I'm sorry, I think my... Yeah, go ahead, Ragini. Sir, uh, sir, I wanted to ask you, what is Brahman? What are Brahman energies, and why is KQ God still and Reiki not still? No, the male energy of the divine is unmoving, and the movement part is called the female energy. And Brahman energy is the energy of the universal life force, the Brahma, the spiritual energy. So there are many different kinds, unlimited kinds of Brahma energies. Okay, next, Sang Suva. Sang Suva. Yeah. So, so what? What do you mean by still? Steady, unmoving. But you can send KQ to people. Yes, you can. That's why the. But isn't that moving? Yes, it is. So divine is very uh, difficult to understand. He is simultaneously <laughs> in in Golok Vrindavan, and then he appears in Vrindavan on this planet. So it's very difficult Jay-Li? to understand. Yes, of course. He's in Vrindavan. Yeah, he's in Vrindavan. Sure. He's he's everywhere. He has told you just now. I am in everyone's heart, including your own. So Vrindavan is in your heart. If you go there, when you go to the external Vrindavan, it helps to awaken the internal one. But it's all within. You don't need to go anywhere eventually. Yes, Sang Suman. Sir, you may ask a question. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, welcome. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, sir, just wanted to understand uh, when you say to connect internally, uh, what what exactly does it mean? Like, for example. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what it means. I'll tell you what it means. It means that when you are doing your healing practice, you focus on the flow of the energy that is connecting internally. It's as simple as that. Nothing complicated. So in that you float off into a transcendental state, and sometimes you fall asleep because you are now connecting elsewhere. So gradually, in time, that state can become a state when you are awake, in your regular work. So you can have some trickle down effect of that energy also coming when you are awake. Okay. So when you say focus on the flow, uh, is it uh, some kind of a uh, physical feeling, for example? Yes. When when was the last time you did touch body healing for yourself? Mm-hmm. It seems you haven't done it for years. Just <coughs> if you have done it, then you'll focus on the flow. Things happen in your body. That's the flow. Focus. So, that, so I, I right. So I do uh, feel. Uh, for example, changes in the temperature at a particular point. Yeah, but then your mind is running here and there. Instead of doing that, just be in the flow. When you are in the flow, you'll you'll know you are not in the flow when you are out of the flow. When you are in the flow, you will not note anything as such. You'll be very peaceful. And when you lost it, you'll say, "Oh, I had that." because the mind is silent in that flow only your connect with the transcendental divine is flowing through you that consciousness so you, that's why you have to find a secluded place sit down start doing your healing focus on the flow look in, inside you you can you can feel the energies flowing through you you may sense it as temperature change and all the rest of it that's fine Stick with it, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, for a person who is a non-healer, and if one is to uh, connect internally, what is the first thing that they should do? Person who is a non-healer has a very difficult path. 
a person who is not connected to the Brahma energies, yeah, he can't experience this except by chance sometimes. And if somebody, some healer is touching him, either directly by physical touch or through channeling the healing energy, then he can feel it sometimes. Because it's a matter of being purified. And earlier we had talked about last time that, you know, it's a purification process. And the purification process is required in order to remove the layers which are obstructing your penetration into that zone of consciousness. So, a person, otherwise what is the use of being initiated in these energies? If everybody could just go there, what was the need for it? There wasn't. So, there is a definite need for being connected to the transcendental Brahmin energies, the Brahma energies. Not Brahmin, Brahma. Krishna is not talking about Brahmins, he is talking about Brahma. And we say Brahmin for a person who has those energies connect. So you are all Brahmins. As healers, you are all Brahmins, technically speaking. Because you are connected to the universal Brahma energies. So, uh, if one is sending healing to people, and but uh, if there is something that one can physically do to help them, then... Uh, what can you do physically to help them and uh, give me an example, what are you thinking of? So, the, so if there is uh, a person, say a mentally ill, there is a group of mentally ill, Ill-ill people, people yeah. okay. and one is sending healing to them, but they could start some kind of a practice, uh, maybe of breathing or how does... Breathing is good, that will calm people down. If you take, if you breathe in typically for a count, keep a steady count, Breathe in for four or five counts. Hold your breath for seven or eight. And then exhale for seven or eight. So four, eight, eight or four, seven, eight, whatever you want to do is a good thing for immediately calming the mind. That is recommended. If you can't even do that, focus on the breath at your nostrils as a starter. Be aware of the incoming and outgoing breath. And in about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you should feel more stable. Question is, will anybody do it? So if they do it, great, they'll get this benefit, certainly. Okay, last question. Michael Goldberg in the beginning of the class said, good morning, Master. Okay, good morning to everyone and goodbye. So we will conclude here at text 32 of chapter 6 of Bhagavad Gita and next time we will continue from this place. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Okay thank you You've been listening to Nalan Kainarula on gettingpositivekarmanow.com. dot com.